Hello guys, how are you all doing today? Well, <laughs> I got a gum to clean to you. I got another T and uh, actually got a new Scorpion to replace the B Jacksonian that died. And I must warn you, Scorpion is pretty hot venom and uh, rather, rather dangerous. So uh, let's have a look at them. Okay, I'm not sure of idea of both specimens, so if you guys can help me out on this species, on both of them, that will actually be helpful. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the tarantula first, and then we'll go to the scorpion. Okay, so this is sold to me as a salmon bird eater, you know, uh, Lacidora para hibana, but to me, it's sort of fishy, uh, because it doesn't really look like an LP, because I know he's in definitely in pre-molt. So, I have Dan to compare. Uh, he's my uh, three-inch male that you saw during uh, Thursday's uh, feeding video. Oh, yeah, yesterday. So you can actually have a look at him. He's around three inches. This one is probably around 2.5 inches. Uh, so we'll have a look at him. See how he looks. This one is not really aggressive. Uh, it's certainly a hair kicker. When I originally opened up the box and have a look at it, uh, it uh, seemed to uh, kick a lot of hairs. It's not that aggressive. Uh, which actually is a good thing, but the reason why I bought it, wanted to buy another LP because I wanted two females, so hopefully um, if Dan and Pierre matures out before Daisy and this one does, uh, hopefully I could get um, a mating pair and hopefully up my chances when I do eventually breed El Parra Hibana in the future. So, um, yeah, here it is. Uh, he's certainly a lot browner than your typical El Parra Habana, but he's definitely in pre-molt, uh, which is a good thing. So um, I have up, up till Wednesday to decide whether or not to buy this or not. Uh, when I did the ventral shot of it, it kind of looked like it's a male, but I will definitely find out when it does molt. And uh, I don't think that should be too long. So hopefully I'll decide whether or not to get this or not. And hopefully if the label holds true. Anyways, now that's out of the way. Now let's check out the scorpion. And uh, I must warn you, it's a really dangerous scorpion. Uh, it's one of them that has killed people. Okay, this is called the Egyptian yellow fat tail scorpion. And you can see it's hot. Yeah, hot venom. I believe the scientific name of it is uh, Androctinus australis. And there's this lovely um, article on this, which I'm going to be posting a link on the video description. But to want you, uh, guys' opinion, to know if this is a real fat tail or not, because I'm doubting whether or not uh, this is. Okay, so here's a specimen. I don't think this is the the appropriate type of substrate to be housing one. I think I'm going to put it on sand. It's probably roughly the same size as my B. Jacksoni that died. Uh, it is a sex female. Okay, so I, right away I could tell that it does have slender leg uh, pincers. So uh, it does indicate that it could be a very hot species. And I don't know if it has a fat tail or not. I'm definitely not going to get stung by this species. Yeah, so I don't know if this is an A. australis or not, or, Androctin, or any Androctinus scorpion. I don't really know much about scorpions as much as I know it about tarantulas. But I thought it would be pretty cool. So if anyone has kept this scorpion before, uh, give me some insight of how to keep this one. I think I'm going to keep it very similar to uh, the um, Desert Harry that I had a couple of years ago. I know give it on sand and uh, keep it really hot and not, not very uh, humid at all, very dry. But uh, some insight will be greatly appreciated. So I just wanted to give you this uh, little video of um, my new scorpion, this one I bought, and whether or not to buy this uh, tea or not. I'm only buying it if it's a female. Uh, if it's another male, I really don't want them because <laughs> I really don't want five, four LP males and one female. That's why I bought it, because I wanted a female. Alright guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.